Welcome back, guys. If you're new, make sure to like and subscribe. So if you just saw in the last clip, um, the truck was pissing fuel. Originally, I thought it was something a lot worse, and then I got out and realized that for some reason, an injector line backed off, so I just had to tighten it. Here we got our brand new lift pump motor. Um, I ended up just going with the same one that's on the truck. It's just a Fast 95. But mine's pretty tired and pretty old, so... Figured we'd just replace it. Pretty sure the one on the truck right now is like six or seven years old. So it makes sense. It's done its time. Um, it's just tired. So I got this to install on the truck. Shouldn't take very long. Um, and then I've got a new fuel hose fitting. So here's our new fuel hose fitting. So it stops leaking. And our new lift pump motor. Um, yeah, simple as that. Just gonna get up under here. And uh, there's the motor right on the top. Probably just gonna take it out of the truck. It's just easier that way so I can get at everything. We got our old lift pump out. So now I just gotta bring it in the garage where it's warm, clean the hell out of it, remove the bottom filter, I believe, and then there's four screws that hold it in and the whole thing comes off. So there we go. Pulled off that one filter. And it's just those little hex keys right there and the whole thing comes off. Pretty simple concept. This is where the motor bolts in, and this little ball goes right in there, and that's that's it. I'm just gonna clean the surface a bunch, put the little O-ring gaskets in that it comes with, tighten it back on there, put everything back together, bleed the system, and start it. The new kit even comes with a nice little new float ball. <laughs> She's all back together, so now I'm gonna go attach it to the truck again. Make sure these are both filled with fluid, and then wire it up and flick it on. It's all back in, so now it's time to just bleed it at the pump. There we go. Wow, that one's a lot quieter than the other one. That one was noisy as hell. And then, I just go. Yeah, it goes good. I'll have to clean it off and find out, but... Clean them all off. So if there's any leaks, I'll see. So I don't quite understand. The me mechanical fuel gauge was reading nothing, but now that I hooked up my electronic one again, actually is reading some fuel pressure um that's about eight psi i think which i think is normal for these trucks i tried looking it up and i guess it said anywhere between eight and 15 but i guess typical is like eight <laughs> so we have fuel pressure now mechanical fuel gauge didn't read it though i don't know why so i guess i'll just keep that in the glove box for a while but we have fuel pressure so that's cool back at the front drive shaft because it's basically December, <laughs> um, so should be expecting snow. For some reason, we still haven't gotten any, which works out, I guess. But I'm going to get this in because I think we're supposed to get snow in like two weeks. So good to have four-wheel drive just in case I need it. So I got one clip out, about to flip it over to the other clip and take out that U-joint, then run into town, get the correct three U-joints, then come back, toss them in, put it in the truck, and then that be all the way. The more I get into this thing, the more confused I am. So there's not only just two U-joints, there is some weird extra joint in there that doesn't even look like it's replaceable. Like, it looks like you have to buy this whole assembly. Like, that's a bearing in that, and that's all metal. So I don't think that even comes out. And that that's also part of the entire drive shaft. So this doesn't come off. So I don't I don't understand what I'm supposed to fix there. What do I replace there? Nothing. That that bearing has got to be replaceable, but I don't know how you'd get that out. This thing is just a can of worms, dude. Every time I touch something, it's just a freaking spiral. So I originally didn't even care about the front drive shaft or the U joints. I only took this out to do the clutch. It had to come out because it was connected, obviously, when you take the transfer case out. Now I'm trying to do the U-joints. I just waited like two weeks because I thought I was just going to do the U-joints 
throw them in to find out that it's not an assembly that you can just replace. You have to buy the entire rebuild kit, which is like $150, or you have to buy a whole new drive shaft. Um, if this thing smoked, if my, if this part wasn't smoked, I could just do the U-joints, but it's, it is smoked. <laughs> so I can't just fix that. I have to buy either the rebuild kit or the whole thing. Um, the parts store in town can get me it tomorrow morning for $350 with a lifetime warranty. Grab some more oil for it just cause I got to top it off again. Um, and then the front drive shaft showed up and our two inch rear lowering leveling kit showed up. So pretty simple. This is all the um, lowering leveling kit is. It's two inch blocks because the truck has factory four inch. So there's two inch blocks, new U-bolts and hardware and some stickers. And there she is in all her glory. The thing is honestly pretty damn gorgeous. <laughs> the drive shaft is all in and happy.